Okay, boys and girls, been a funny old day today. Got a funny old wife here who's not doing a job. She hasn't made me my coffee because we all know Scruffy likes a coffee and this cup's empty. Please, I love you. I really do. You are. It's amazing what you get. Ah, kitchen's bollocks at the minute, so we we haven't what. So I've got my stress spot. Look at that, look at that, boys and girls. It's like a little death charger that uh, Danny made me. This is fantastic. I mean, I, I'm I'm really pleased with that because I keep bursting my stress ball, so he made me that, so I can't burst it. So I'm pleased with that. But I'm also pleased with the charts. Let me switch them on, roll the intro, and we'll get into it. Okay, and a warm welcome to one and all. What we'll see, we have an order coming in now based on this blue line. Now what I've been doing this morning is I wanted to take the squad through a whole process. Now, when you're watching the charts, you often think that these things are done in minutes. They're not, they can take hours. We currently at 10 past 11. And I've been tracking this since seven o'clock this morning and I started it properly at nine o'clock. Let me kind of give you an idea of what that tracking is. So the first thing I do early morning, as you can see, my day starts around 6 a.m. Now I've done the gold trades, etc., this morning for the small account. And it's done quite well, which is on this. This is the Black Bull account that we're building up from 200 quid. Now, this, I've already had a thousand pounds out of it, went back to 200, and I've got it back up to 919, um, well, I just call it 920, but I've already had 289 out of it. And it's because of little moves like this. You get in, you get out, you get your job, right? That part of my trade is done. Then I look over into what's happening here. It wasn't a great deal happening in Europe, and I've done my gold, so I'm looking at these two. And what I can see is there's buys across the board now on cable. It's now telling me to monitor it. I want a good TP, so I want to be above eight pips, which is the minimum TP. Now, what I've also been doing, if I just pull it to one side, is working my way through it with this lot. Now, when it comes to trade ideas like this, so sort of early morning, I'll put the strengths in, I'll have a little look at it, and I'll do a couple of videos of the breakdowns of how and what I'm looking for from a levels point of view. Then from here, what I've been doing is a similar sort of thing. As you can see, part two, what that is, this is a video of me doing an update in and around sort of nine o'clock, explaining what's going on, then did it again, 10 o'clock, see what's going on. Updated this, now you'll see, this is actually telling me there's no trade. So this has been hours in the making. Then we've updated it again, across here. So this was at 22. And then done a video explaining exactly what it is we're looking at on that. Done it again, here, at 11 o'clock and this is now what we're about to see so you can kind of see that there and then there we go it's going into the trade so i do quite a lot for these guys when they want it now what we're looking at here is this running on now if i just take this out to four hours just so we can have a look what we can see is there's been a huge drop it's consolidation and now it's pushing its way through and it's moving up. Now it's next testing point is probably, oh, what a good, whoa, sausage roll as well. Is that because you want a sausage? Would you like a sausage? Would you? Or did you just like the bacon? Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> so if I drop that up to there, that, that's like about 20 pips. Live with that, let that run into there. It's halfway between these two levels that are pre-marked in. 
So I'm quite happy. Now, what else can I do? Well, this might well pull back on itself. Well, if that's the case, where's it gonna pull and test to? Well, there's a swing here. Now that's on the four hour, which means there'll be a decent swing there when I move down onto the hourly chart. Let's pull it down on the hourly chart. There's the swing there. So I'll average in down into this section, which happens to coincide with the golden eye. The guys know exactly what that is. Stop will be on the other side of it. That's if I want to do that. And I'll just average in to get out up here. It's a simple process. And it's all following a pattern. It's following a proper process and then just putting in key principles of management and then let the trade play out. So that's what I'll do. I'll just flick it over and I'll come back to you at the end. Well, we're waiting. Okay guys, um, I've just killed that off. I'll kind of explain why I'm doing that in just a second. I just want to check, make certain. Got my tickets out. And there you go, 138 quid. It's quite a tough trade. Markets are not moving particularly quick. It's stretched up and it's now shown signs that this may well reverse. Why? If you look at the indicators, etc., they're incredibly stretched. Now this may well start pushing on up, but I've got a fair idea it's gonna come back on itself a little bit before it moves higher. If that's the case, I was so close to the target, in other words, just a couple of ticks, I'm not bothered, I'll just take the money. So if I pop this out to the hourly, you'll see that it's pushed up and you can see the tail coming in on the hour up there for all this might well do that, okay? See where it's pushed up? Again, pushed up, small body, and then it comes back and then pushes up again. Just bank your cash. Now, what I've done today is an exercise in time. Like I say, I started this strength sheet probably just on seven o'clock this morning, kept half an eye on it, watched it till around nine o'clock, then decided that, okay, the open's over, time to go into it. And then it took time to find a half decent point where I thought the market might go for me. Well, that was 11 o'clock. So that took quite a few hours from first doing the strengths to finding some kind of trade criteria. And it's now 10 past one so from 11 till now, so that's another two hours just to get my money. Now, the market is pushing up a little bit. I could have held it to target, but it didn't really matter because it was only a couple of quid. It was, 
you're talking like 15 quid or something like that between where I pulled it and what the target is. If I see any signs of it reversing, I'll just take the money out, let it reset a little bit, and if I think it's gonna go, I'll go again. That's it. Um, I find most of these videos quite difficult. Um, I see the adverts on the telly and, 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 and YouTube, etc. And certainly all over Facebook, join my community, do this, follow my trades, we're in and out, we double in our account in a week. Yeah, of course you are. Fuck you now. How does that gobshite get on the television? <laughs> I want to tell you something straight about business. The reason businesses fail is undercapitalization and over expectation. You've heard me say this before. If you want to double 100 quid, that's brilliant. You're going to get 200 back. But if you've got 10,000 in to try and double that 10,000 in a week, that is a tall order. And then you've got to ask yourself, how many times can you do it? Not many. Why? Because there would be multi billionaires all over the planet if it was possible. And that's because it's not. Trading is a slow, steady path. I told you before, trading's not difficult. It really isn't. You know, I proved that this morning for the guys. The hard part has been and always will be you. You over expect what you're getting. You put too little into the market and you think you're going to get fortune out. You can't do it, so you kick off. And then you kick off because you're angry and depressed. Not at the system, not at the chart, and not at the person who showed you how to do it, but yourself. But you take it out on other people. And then you try to go back to the market with the wrong mindset. You're going back in through anger and fear and one thing and another. And it all stems from an over-expectation and undercapitalization. You need to invest in yourself. Now that's through your education, not necessarily money, but certainly time. And you need to invest in working out what your mindset is. You can't control your mindset, you'll never control the chart. And that's why 90% of you shouldn't be doing this job. I even told the group at the, at the weekend, they're not gonna make it, so cancel the subscriptions. Don't be part of the group because you're not gonna make it. And why did I do that? Because I do that group as a passion project doesn't pay me anything, not really. I do it because I want to genuinely help the guys and I told them this from the heart. I don't want them chasing false dreams. Don't get me wrong, there's certain elements in there that have got a good opportunity they're gonna make it. There's certain elements come in that are like Joe Public where they'll just scoff at you and insult them. Well, you only ever insult me once and I'll just ignore you. It doesn't bother me because uh, it's no benefit to me. And I'm not going to help somebody who insults me. It's that simple, you know. And I'm like that in the public world as well. You insult me and then you contact me. I don't care who you are, I'll cut you dead, you know. But I'm like that in life. Why? You look after those who look after you. And a leopard never changes its spots. Always remember that, guys. Always remember that. I know I get on a rant every once in a while about this, and I do. I haven't had a good rant for ages because maybe I'm getting mellow in my old age. But what I'm trying to give you from my old age is the voice of expectation. And that expectation might drill down into reason. Then reason might drill down into calmness. And if you can understand what the expectation is, understand the reason why you're trading and then trade from a calm mindset, you have a chance in this industry. If you think you're just gonna turn small money into big money, forget it. Go watch some of the young kids that are renting a, a Lamborghini or sitting in a rented private jet. I can be in a private jet. There's an airfield four miles away from where I live. I can go down there and for 400 quid, I can sit in a private jet for the afternoon and they'll even take me up and fly me it for an hour. 400 quid. Could I afford a private jet? Could I feck? Jesus Christ, at times I'm lucky if I can afford the diesel pump the price of them these days. And let's be honest, you've seen Winky. 
You want to see a credit card bill, then you'll understand why I've got no way. God, it's truth. Anyway, boys and girls, nearly getting on one there. Right, stress ball time. Thank you, Danny. All right, stress, 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 stress. Oh, I haven't burst it yet. Got an empty cup, so I'm not that happy. Right, I'm going to go see what the flasters are up to. But as always, guys, trade well, keep your risk managed. But above all, do what you love, and the money will follow. See you all in the next one.